Hello guys, uh, today we are going to see how to read, explain or interpret our species result. Uh, so when it is, you know, the interaction effect of uh, it is uh, factors are uh, affecting the dependent variable. Uh, so first of all, we just analyze our mm, data. Oh, here we have a sample data. Uh, we can just go uh, ahead and analyze it. Uh, general linear model, uh, univariates, because I will have uh, one dependent variable. That's what why I chose univariate. Then uh, I can uh, put my dependent variable here and my independent variables are here two factors fixed factors then i can go just put the plots uh, add continue postdoc lcd in duncan we can choose and options uh, descriptive and homogeneity test then uh, we can go ahead and click on OK. Uh, here is what we find. Uh, first, we can just go to test of test uh, of between subject effects uh, to see whether it is significant. So, as we can see here, the, the interaction effect of the two factors, salinity and silicon has a significant effect on uh, our dependent variable, in this case, port number. Uh, why uh, we say it's uh, significantly affecting the, in the dependent variable? Because its uh, p-value is less than 0 0.05. Uh, that's when we are going to say it's significant. So when it is significant, uh, we can just go ahead and the interaction uh, when whenever the interaction is significant we can just uh, analyze it again uh, by using the combining uh, column and combining factors of the two factors salinity and silicon uh, we can just combine them in such a way that we can write one 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 up to the the last of the up to the end of its uh, values uh, we can just write three times uh, this con uh, continuous number uh, why we are writing three times because the uh, replication is three in our uh, experiment so we can uh, go ahead and analyze it again uh, general linear model univariates we can reset this one in this case for our fixed factor we are going to use this one this column and for this one uh, port number the same uh, dependent variable then post hoc lcd duncan uh, option descriptive homogeneity test then we can click on OK then we can just go ahead see uh, the homogeneity subjects to uh, level here is the uh, homogeneous subjects the values we can find the values here so that we can just uh, take it into our Excel, copy as Excel sheets. Then we can take it to our Excel sheets. We can take it like this. Then we can copy and paste it in our uh, uh, Word document. We can just p copy it, it, it like this. This one is 15. Uh, this this column is A. This one is A. This one is B column. 
this one is C, D, E, F, G. We can label them like this. So by doing so, we can just take it like this. This one is a 15. We, we can see it here. This one is 15, almost 15. Uh, when we uh, approximately 15. Uh, this one is A, and this one is A B. We can put it like A B. Uh, and uh, twelve is this one is also he, this one is B C. You can see it here B C. That's how we uh, we can level it after uh, analyzing it. Then uh, we can just uh, interpret it. Uh, you know, as uh, you all guys see it here, uh, I. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm interpreting it in, you know, my own way. You can interpret it in, in different ways, you know, as you wish. When you write your thesis, it depends whether you are writing your thesis or just a short uh, article that you are going to publish. So it depends on the, your uh, guide guideline when you are interpreting it. So this is a sample. I interpreted it in, this, in such a way that uh, the salinity level, this is SL, the salinity level, and the silicon uh, dose interaction was found uh, significant at 0 0.05 uh, uh, significant level. That means 5% uh, significant level uh, of the pod uh, number value. Therefore, in the interpretation of this uh, parameter, each main factor was not considered separately, which means uh, salinity and silicon was not separately considered. Rather, I just considered the interaction effect of uh, these two factors. Uh, but the result of the interaction at the factorial level uh, are given in table uh, 416. You can indicate where the values are given already. The highest number, you, you can start writing the details again. The higher, the highest number of the port uh, value you can add. Uh, the port value was uh, determined in the salinity level 0, 0 salinity level, and uh, 2 silicon dose. The second silicon dose is this one, this one, and salinity level zero is this one, and the this one and this one are the highest. This and this because it's uh, uh, it's letter is a. The a indicates the highest value. A here is a b because they are similar they are labeled with similar letter the higher, these are the highest values here that's what I, I mentioned here uh, the highest values are 14.11 uh, and 15 this one is 15 so these two are the highest values and the lowest is in all uh, silicon dose combination subjects under uh, this one is by mistake salinity level uh, under all the salinity level uh, values uh, salinity level 3 these are the lowest values so any any combination uh, between uh, each levels of silicon with uh, the level of uh, salinity, the third salinity level they are the lowest values and you can also uh, write the percentage the at which it decreases uh, when the salinity level, level increases so you can also uh, calculate the percentage of the the reduction of the values because of salinity so the combination effect the you can compare the highest and the lowest and make the calculate the percentage of the values this is